Hey friends, it is Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of the She Makes Club. Excited to share with you this uh, Cricut HTV heat transfer vinyl customized book cover for my daughter Genevieve. Uh, she got a new study Bible, and as we've been talking about strength in the month of September... Um, our family is finding a lot of strength in our faith in God's word. So she wanted this customized with just her name in a very plain font, she said. And then she wanted uh, antlers and a flower or group of flowers. So the first thing I'm going to search for is the antlers. And there are so many options inside Cricut Access. It's unbelievable. Uh, sometimes it's hard to even begin to choose. I had to go and ask Genevieve, hey, Jenna, come here. Which ones do you like? Uh, as I scrolled through. So uh, we got to uh, pick the ones that, that she wanted most and that we could kind of uh, manipulate to look the way we wanted it to look. So as you see here, they're grouped together and there isn't an option to ungroup this particular image, but I want to be able to separate them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another shape, like a square or even a circle. So I'm just going to hit shapes, the square, and then I'm going to make that square bigger than the antler. Another way to do this is to do a hide contour uh, and duplicate the image, but what I just end up doing a lot is putting the square over, slicing that image so that uh, now there's multiple pieces that are free moving and deletable or movable and shapeable. So now I can put each side of the antler on each side of her name. And like I said, there's a couple ways to do this. I've always tended to lean towards the uh, slice option, my iPad uh, is not being very cooperative today. Um, but you can also do the image twice and then just do a hide contour. That's great to do on something that is simple like these antlers. Um, just different ways to go about whatever task you're looking to do in design space when you can't ungroup. So now I'm just placing the antlers on either side of her name, getting them into position and uh, as even as I can or lined up with each other as uh, I can, just kind of moving it into position. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I love doing it on my iPad because there is that um, snap positioning, which is helpful to get things lined up and even the um, red align bars to help you really see uh, where each piece lies. So then I'm going to just go back into image search and I'm I'm going to type in flowers and um, it's pretty simple just to search out images that way and I'm going by the ones that uh, I already have access to or purchased and I really love this little bunch of flowers uh, right here so I'm just going to select those that was perfect and uh, able to just be shaped and lined up I'm going to shrink it down to kind of be inside and I really want that leaf uh, flower to kind of come down on the other side so I'm just flipping uh, and flipping it horizontally and vertically to have a direction that I want it to be and then once I have that lined up and the different pieces uh, kind of shrunk to fit together the way that I want them to be I'm going to drag my finger across all three of these images to make sure that Genevieve, the antlers, and the flowers, all three, are in the same confinement box. And then I'm just going to hit the word weld under action items. And this will cut it all out as essentially one shape uh, on my Cricut mat. So I'm going to use my Cricut Joy. I'm using gold HTV vinyl. This particular gold happens to be from close to my heart. They come in great sheets and they're reasonably priced. Um, so that's what that is. So now I'm going to click make it. I'm going to click on a mat and I do have this size to be around four inches in width. So that was automatically two and a half in height, something like that. I'm going to make sure I turn mirror on. That's really important. That little green slider on the bottom left side. I'm going to uh, connect it to my Cricut Joy machine and then let the Cricut start cutting it out. Uh, once I click the word go after it, make sure I have enough material. So here is the study Bible that my daughter is uh, just recently got and is using to do some more of her uh, study and journaling art with it. Um, and she wanted her name on the front. So uh, I do believe that is just like a, um, vegan leather or a man-made material on the front of this so you do want to be careful with the heat settings I'm going to use my Cricut mini press after I get everything all removed from the mat and weed it out we'll do that in fast fast pace mode um, 
but we'll be using the Cricut Mini Press on a medium heat setting and just being really attentive to um, how the heat is handling on the material itself with the backing sheet. So I'm just going to slice this um, kind of where the Im image ends and then we're going to uh, weed the whole project. So weeding is just removing all of the uh, negative spaces essentially, uh, all the interiors of the letters and that outer excess material. I'm just using a Cricut pick and going right around the perimeter and working my way through. I know a lot of people find weeding super relaxing and it is not one of my favorite things in the world to do, but uh, it is nice just to be able to reveal your design at the end and that is satisfying. So here is the Bible. I pulled out my ruler and I wanted to place the V in the center of um, what would be the two and a half inch mark because it's about a five inch width and we made it four inches um, across from point to point and I'm just using the ruler to essentially line it up initially and then gently giving it just enough pressure uh, to watch it release from that backing sheet and not too much pressure or heat that it would melt or harm the material underneath kind of let it cool off for a second and a lot of times when I do it on um, any type of book or uneven surface or textured surface, I grab my Cricut spatula and I give it a press down with the spatula while it's still warm. It just helps it conform to the design a little bit better. And there you have it. So beautiful ways to customize books um, and Bibles. And I hope you'll join us over at shemakes.club where we do all kinds of things about making life together that we love. Thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you enjoy the moments. Bye-bye.